basic motion graphics tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Today I will be teaching you how to do the simple title motion graphics. You could use these graphic ideas to design your own lower thirds or buttons for your videos. So let's fire up After Effects. Create a new composition. Mine will be 1920 by 1080 in size. I'm going to rename my composition main comp. And press OK. Create a rectangle like this. Position it by pressing P on your keyboard. Click on rectangle and scroll down to roundness and increase the roundness of your rectangle to what looks good to you. Now scroll down to fill one and go to color and change it to a shade you like. I will change mine to this faded pink and rename it. Create another smaller rectangle like this and position it how you like. Change its roundness the same way we changed the first one. Change the color too I will make mine blue. Rename it blue. Now I will create my text by clicking on this text button up here. I'm going to leave my text in this yellow shade. Position it inside our small rectangle. Now import your logo and drag it in your composition. I will resize mine by clicking S for scale on my keyboard and put it here on this corner. Create another text layer. I will change my text to black and position it. Now I will go to my effects panel and search for an effect called drop shadow and drop it on my small rectangle. Play around with the distance and direction buttons till you get what you like. Copy this drop shadow effect like this. Paste it on the pink rectangle. My logo and my texts also.
This gives our design a bit of depth. Now it's time to animate our composition. I will do that by first creating a null object like this. Rename it control. Always rename your layers this makes your editing life much easier. Now parent all these layers to the null object by connecting this pick whip tool like this. This means everything that is applied to the null object will be applied to the layers parented to it as well. Here we animate the null position by pressing P on our keyboard and drag the banner down until you can't see it. Now click on the stopwatch button to create a keyframe. Move your playhead a bit and pull the null's position to its original place. Now we have a little animation going on. Highlight both our keyframes and press F9 to create an ease ease. Click on the graph button and follow what I do to have a smoother animation. As you can see now our animation is a little smooth. Now move a few seconds forward and create a keyframe and move like one second and drag down the banner again hiding it. Animation is done. Now ease ease the keyframes again. I will now trim my composition like this. To polish up my animation now I will click this motion blur button on. And also enable eat in all our layers for this nice motion blur to our animation. Select all the layers and pre-compose them. Now you can simply throw this motion graphics over your videos as it doesn't have a background. To export this click file and scroll down to export and select add to render queue. Click on output mode. Under format select quick time. On format options here make sure under video codec animation is always selected for this kind of animation. Here under channel select RGB plus alpha for a transparent background this is really important and press OK. Press render. When it's done you can just drag and drop that motion graphic click on top of any video. Thank you so much for watching see you on the next one.